<laughs> right, right. I mean, there, there are always going to be upsets. That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. But it's great to see Phoenix D back at down drink. He's been gone for a little bit, took a little break. But you can't stay too far away from Smash. I mean, it's, it's too good. Oh, yeah, definitely. And, uh, sent, and, you know, I had a little chat with him, and he told me that he just felt so revitalized um, ever since he came back. And I played, Ooh. oh, God, beautiful by Phoenix D. How do you feel Mario is against Luigi? I mean, Luigi's kind of taking the spotlight on the tier list right yeah. now, the, the tier list. Right, but, quote, unquote. <laughs> yeah, but um, I don't know. I mean, Mario's got so much explosiveness yeah. that he's going to have to capitalize on against Luigi. Mario is just an all around a really solid character. And then with Phoenix D being as stylish as he is and as knowledgeable of the character yeah. as he is, like he can adapt much like Sean can adapt to various situations. And this, and of course, make it look fucking good in the process. Oh, oh what an unfortunate, um, unfortunate early KO for him. And you know, that's the thing that, that screws people up against Luigi a lot. Um, yeah. I, play, I got eliminated by Crispy's Luigi last week, and I was going way too deep to try and uh, yeah. edge guard him, and I was getting put in a lot of bad situations. You have to play that very yeah. smart. Absolutely. But, you know, Phoenix isn't going to be phased by that. He spaces that forward smash better than anybody I've ever played against, yeah. which is limited to four glory Marios. But <laughs> <laughs> for sure, but it looks like we're evened up right Right now, which is again, it's still anyone's game because Crispy is also no slouch either. So yeah. he could easily rack up 50%, like this 50 to 60% that Mario has right now on Luigi and then make it happen. So we'll see. Yeah, and right now, uh, what Crispy's doing is spacing him really well because uh, I, I mean, if you look, Phoenix loves those early percent grab combos that he's oh, making himself so famous for. Crispy's taking that into account. So you see lots of green fireballs coming out. Lots of good spacing. You saw the back air right there. Yeah. So, but that, um, beautiful. So, oh, what did I just talk about? <laughs> Going so deep though. Oh, I think that's, that's uh, it. That's it. That's it. That's really just what it takes. Yeah. Lu Luigi's kind of the, um, the carrot at the end of the stick for the rabbit there, you know, just yeah. recovering on stage is, uh, yeah something you got to look out for with him absolutely and um, what I noticed that Phoenix does a lot is that he will he will go deep off stage all the time sometimes yeah. for better sometimes for worse but I mean you got to go for it at some point and if you mess up I mean you learn for next time but in a situation where you're in a tournament every move counts yeah absolutely and uh, you know it's all about cost benefit what what's the what's the best um, play it to make in what situations should, I, should you make those risky plays? And he feels so comfortable going for those crazy yeah. uh, F airs. And uh, great, great combo by the start from uh, yeah. from Crispy right now. That's gonna give him a lot of momentum. Yeah, I like that cost benefit. I like that. I don't have to use that. <laughs> yeah, or risk analysis. Yeah, risk whatever, you right. want, whatever you want. Whatever you want to coin from me, I, I'll, I take the credit though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. I will definitely credit you on that. But um. So we look, we're still looking pretty even right now. So, I mean, Mario with 89% and then Luigi with 64, now 78. Yeah, and uh, good get up read by there. That's something that he might want to be doing rather than going off stage and trying to clobber him with the slow forward air. Yeah. Just hit him when he comes back on stage. Ooh. Beautiful, that's the Phoenix DF smash right there. I died to that at Rise. <laughs> and Crispy coming with those NorCal uh, charged up, charged smash attacks. Doing One. some decent damage and that that up smash from Luigi is really solid. It's got so much range. I mean both both the Mario Bros have a lot of range on their F smashes. Oh and there we go again with that big ass head knocking Mario out, taking and the stock and we're evened up. Evened up with uh, with one of Crispy's favorite things is to go up for the F smashes when you're on the way yeah. down. He loves watching you air dodge right into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so Mario's going to need a throw combo right here to get some momentum back and you're going to see Phoenix starting to fish for that in just a sec. But I don't like him falling down with those aerials every time he gets tossed up because Crispy is just going to wait with the shield and just throw him down. Yeah. Oof, careful. I wouldn't do a do a early percent F smash either. Yeah. He's kind of getting into a habit right now where he's going back air and then pivot F smashing and um, it might, might get him into some trouble. Yeah. All right, here's a chance. I don't know what that was. <laughs> oh, Mario I... and Luigi Tornado's trick. Oh! oh, great DI! Oh, that's the knockout <laughs> DI we were talking about. <laughs> that's how you do it, Jafar. <laughs> no. But, uh. Call outs, though. <laughs> no, he's my buddy. <laughs> uh, but, I mean, uh, the thing is, Luigi's F Smash has that 
kind of tendency to hit you at that diagonal upward angle, so it's hard. Um, you have more opportunities to DI it in that, Ooh, in that sense. Oh, I know Phoenix wanted that. He wanted that <laughs> gimp so hard. He went so deep to try to go get it. Oh, beautiful! Oh, oh my goodness, it finally paid off. It, oh. Mr. Greathouse knows he got that. Right. <laughs> he, he looks a lot happier right now. I know, I know, I know he's feeling good after that one. Yeah, I know he's feeling really good about that. So I'm wondering if we're going to see a character switch. Either a character Steve. switch or a stage switch. Yeah. Um, Luigi wants shorter ceilings. Yes. So if he's going Luigi, we're going to see Delfino oh, or Wii Fit or mm. Battlefield. I'm hella wrong. Yes. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> so right now uh, Mario's getting getting the early lead, which is uh, something that hasn't really happened in the set yet. But never mind. I have those uh, Kronos jinxes. <laughs> <laughs> How dare Commentator's I? curse, man. Yeah. Commentator's curse. It's <laughs> real. Uh, I should just stop talking nice about Phoenix. Ooh, oh, oh, my see, goodness. See, that, oh, see, that's what we're looking. Oh, my gosh. He wanted it. Oh, He's been going for man, all day. He's been going for those early gimps so hard. And he almost had it. But Luigi has an amazing recovery. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I was watching Boss from Xanadu surviving, like, multiple Rosalina spikes. And uh, I think that Luigi's the king of not dying from spikes, so lucky for him that he's playing Luigi right now. Yeah. Um, but at this point, they're at they're so close in the percentages. I think that they're gonna try and beat each other in an F smash, just like that. <laughs> yeah. Great F smash from uh, from Crispy, who read who read the the drop in a double jump recovery from the ledge. But uh, Phoenix is gonna have to capitalize right here. And, yeah. Uh, be careful with Luigi's recovery. I love um, the utilization of Flood coming from Phoenix Seed, trying to get him away from being able to approach the ledge. Yeah, it kind of kind of gives him a little bit of time to fill him out a little bit. You yeah. know what I mean? Oh, wow. You know, no one does that dash attack, but he's been throwing out of that setup, and he recognized that Phoenix might have been aware. So that was really good to actually use that. And I love it. He's like, even if the character gets back on stage using Flood and just knocking them right back off, again, Phoenix Seed's understanding of the neutral game is really huge here. Yeah. It, it's uh, it's gonna be pivotal in him getting back into this because he's having a hard time. Oh, oh, oh my give God. me your lunch money! Oh, so never Man. mind. He's not having a hard time killing him. Nah, not at all. <laughs> I'm really bad at this commentator's curse thing. Oh, it's all good, man. That's <laughs> the best of us. <laughs> so let's see some throw setup. You know, I wonder why he's not going for the down throw. Do you think that it's because Luigi's kind of floating? I, it's possible. I'm not 100% sure as to why he's not going for it, but I think. Phoenix D has uh, Crispy downloaded a little bit. Just, just a little bit. Just a little I, bit. I think he feels more comfortable pushing yeah. him off to the side rather than going for uh, situations where he combos him upwards and yeah. tries to get him on the downfall. Oh, I don't know Ooh, what that I, is. Is he going for the misfire? Know. Yeah, he's going for the, the misfire to get the to get all that crazy knockback on that. But I think uh, he's misfiring his inputs. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of that too. <laughs> but um, even though that there's a obvious percentage lead, uh, Mario, with all that rage, has every chance to kill Luigi right here. Oh, oh that was not smart. Off stage so, so smart. But again, oh, no. now Luigi tornado. <laughs> Ooh. You got to be careful of those. Oh my goodness. Oh, Chris. Oh, we're my gonna goodness. be seeing those Phoenix, right now. Please. That that's a that's a safety safety net it's, right there. It is. Oh, oh my oh, god. The sex kick though. Oh my god. The Luigi Tiger sex kick read. Knee. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, my God, the no-look front kick from Man. freaking...